In this video, I'm going to talk about Notes Nook versus Obsidian and which is better. In this video, I'm going to present the strengths of both of these tools to help you make a final decision regarding them. So, choosing between Notes Nook and Obsidian depends on your priorities for a note taking application. So, here's a breakdown. First, for Notes Nook. The strengths are going to be its user's friendly interface, where it offers a clean and intuitive interface that's easy to learn and use even for beginners. So everything is well laid out, well documented, and very intuitive. You will understand what all these tools in the toolbar do from the get go, and you won't feel lost. It has strong note taking features, supporting rich text formatting, checklists, table, code snippets, making it versatile for various note taking styles. Just like Obsidian, it has some sort of cross-platform availability with Notes Nook being accessible on desktops, web browsers, mobile devices between Android and iOS for seamless note-taking and syncing across devices. It has password protection and encryption, ensuring the privacy and security of your notes and affordable pricing. With all of that out of the way, let's go into Obsidian. Like I said, the tools are very similar, so the differences aren't going to be that many. But the flexibility and customization that Obsidian offers is a consideration that you can take in as well. It has highly customizable interfaces and workflows, supports plugins for various functionalities like mind maps, calendars, and external integrations. So while it might not be baked into the tool itself, there's always going to be something available for you to download and set up to cater to your specific specific needs. It has advanced linking in graph view, enabling the creation of a knowledge graph where your notes are interconnected, fostering deeper understanding and exploration of ideas, with the example being this one here with Rene Descartes' books and philosophy. It has markdown editing, uses markdown for formatting, which is a popular choice for its simplicity and portability across devices. And of course, as you might be aware, it has a large and active community, supports troubleshooting, plugin development, helping users, and so on. So here's a quick decision guide. You should choose Notes Nook if you prioritize ease of use, affordability, and a clean interface with strong built-in features for traditional note-taking. You don't require extensive customization or advanced linking features, and you should choose Obsidian if you are more well-versed into flexibility, customization, a knowledge graph for non-linear note-taking. So if you have a lot of mind maps that you need to connect in one way or the other, and the power of plugins to extend functionality, you're more comfortable with a steeper learning curve and potentially more complex setup for syncing across devices. And like I said, all of the plugins that are available can cater to your needs, but you will have to spend some time setting them up. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your individual needs, so consider trying out both applications. I hope I was able to help you on choosing between Notes Nook and Obsidian and which is better. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.